Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve one problem where we are going to evaluate the natural frequency that is omega n and natural period that is equal that is Tn for the structural system. So the structural system is something like this. There is one cantilever beam. At the free end, one mass is attached. And there are two springs having stiffness K are attached at the top and bottom. Now we have to uh, here uh, details of the beam are given. The length is 3.6 meter. E is 22,000 MPa. Moment of inertia is given. Then here the value of spring stiffness K is given here 40 kN per meter and the value of this mass is given 10 kN. Ok, so we have to find natural frequency omega n is equal to square root of k equivalent upon m. To get omega in radian per second, we will require k equivalent in Newton per meter and mass should be in kg. So we have to follow these units. Okay. Now our system, if you see, there is one cantilever beam and two springs are there. So we need to identify whether our system is having parallel connection or series connection or it is having some combination of parallel and series. Okay. So if I redraw the figure, so I will redraw the figure here. This is the cantilever beam having mass m. Then here one spring and there is another spring is there. Okay. So if we give the displacement here, okay, then our cantilever beam, our this spring and this spring, they will all displace same, okay, because they are connected here. Okay, so our cantilever beam will deflect something like this. Our spring uh, which was connected here will displace by same amount and our this spring will also get compressed little bit okay that is also by amount x so here all the displacement are same when the displacements are same then we can say that our system is in the parallel okay so i can write k equivalent is equal to cantilever beam stiffness plus stiffness of the upper spring plus stiffness of the lower spring. That means Kb plus 2K. Now we know that stiffness of cantilever beam, the formula is 3A upon L cube. That is equal to 3. E is given 22,000. It is in MPa, so into 10 raised to 6 into the moment of inertia is given 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by length of the cantilever beam is given as 3.6 and we will do the cube because it is L cube so if you solve this we will give the answer 169.75 
इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री न्यूटन पर मीटर ओके सो वी हैव के इक्वी वैलेंट ओके नाउ वी कैन फाइंड सॉरी वी हैव के बी नाउ के इक्वी वैलेंट इज इक्वल टू के बी प्लस टू के KB is equal to 169. Point, sorry, uh, just a second. One sixty nine point seventy five into ten raised to three plus two into our K value given is forty into ten raised to three because we want it in newton. So we will get. K equivalent equals to two forty nine point seventy five into ten raised to three newton per meter. So this is our K equivalent. Okay, now we can easily find uh, we can easily find natural frequency omega n omega n. Is equal to square root of k equivalent divided by m. That is equal to two forty nine point seventy five into ten raised to three divided by our mass is given ten kilo newton. So ten into ten raised to three for newton and to convert it to kg it will be nine point eight one. So we have to solve this so our answer will be 15.65 so i can say omega n will be equal to 15.65 radian per second now finally we will need to find out the time period okay so the time period tn is equal to now it is very simple tn is equal to 2 pi upon omega n which equal to 2 into 3.14 divided by 15.65 so we can write first i will do it on calculator 0.40 seconds okay so this is how we can solve these problems i hope the question is clear if you have any doubt you can comment me i will surely re reply thanks for watching please like share subscribe my youtube channel thank you thank you so much